We are not available now. Please, please. The number or code you have dialed is incorrect. Please check the number or code and try again. El número o código que usted... You've reached Olga Mikierina. I'm away from my phone right now. Please leave your message and number, and I will call you back as soon as I can. Thanks. Record your message after the tone. Simply hang up when done. Or for delivery options, press the pound sign. Hi, Olga. This is Mike Wall. I have some questions about the home for sale at 9474 Zigzag Road here in Montgomery. Uh, if you would call me back, my direct line is 513-299-8999, and I will look forward to your call. Thank you. Ooh, they're calling back. This is Mike. Mike, this is Patricia Bond. You just called me? I sure did. Thank you so much for calling me back. I was trying to get a hold of you because um, I'm, I'm trying to get information about the home for sale in Westchester on Conservancy. She hung up. That had to be, let's call her back. Try her again. Hello? Patricia? Yes? Oh, good. I finally got a hold of you. Sorry about that. I kept getting disconnected. I was calling about the home. Well, in... I yeah, I, I, I'm hoping that you can get me some information about the home for sale and conservancy here in Westchester. 
and just what do you want to know about it? Yes, ma'am. Well, I was trying to pull the information up in the computer this morning, and uh, it shows up as an expired listing, and I didn't know if that was correct or if the property had already been sold. No, that's correct. The listing is expired. Can I ask you how that's possible? I mean, I'm looking at the at the photographs of the home, and, and obviously you're in a great location. This seems like something that, that surely would have sold over the last three months. Well, I only, had it, only signed a contract for 90 days. Right. And one big thing is that I'm on a busy road. Okay. Seems like a brand new house, though. I mean, you got... You got a finished basement. It's a walkout. You got a raised deck. I mean, this. Did you get any offers at all on it? No. Not a one, huh? Not a one. That just doesn't make any sense because we've just been in a really good real estate market over the last three months. It seems like you would have got at least an offer. Did you have very many showings on it? I had pretty many showings. Yeah. Okay, so had a lot of showings, just no offers. Okay, well, you can't sell them that way, can you? No, but I'm on a busy road. I'm right on Mulhauser Road. Right, right. Well, you're at the corner there, Conservancy and Mulhauser, right? Right. So, I, I, I guess, I, I hear what you're saying. I still don't think that that's an excuse for the property not being able to being sold because it is. You know, again, if you look at the condition and with the limited inventory, surely this thing would have sold. And I don't expect you to give me an answer. You probably don't have an answer other than, you know, the fact that it is on a busy road. But um, I don't want you to believe in, in the fact that the property didn't sell because it's on a busy road because you know as well as I do. I mean, you bought the property, right? And so there's another buyer for your property. You just haven't found them yet, right? Probably. So with all this being said, right, you know, obviously you still want to sell the property. What, what are your plans moving forward for this home? I'm not doing anything this winter with it. I'm staying right here. Okay, so you're going to stay put in the home throughout the winter and then potentially put it back on the market after, after the winter's over, maybe the first of spring? Correct. Okay, all right. That makes sense, and I understand people do that a lot. Um, let me ask you this, and, and, and I'll let you get back to your morning. What were your plans once the property sold? Were you staying locally here, or were you trying to move out of the area? Uh, I'm trying to find a place in Centerville. Oh, up near the Dayton area. There's a particular place up there I wouldn't mind being in. Okay, what place is that? Because I know Centerville really well. <clears throat> I don't know the name of it. Uh, my brother lives there. He has a one-story condo. Okay. It's off Bigger Road. So one-story condo off Bigger Road. Yeah, they're, they're like ranch condos. With they attached garage? Detached with a private patio. Okay. You said a detached garage with a private patio? Yeah, I think you come from the garage into the private patio and then into the house. Okay. Are there any of those for sale right now? There's none in there. I have someone looking for me. Okay. You've got somebody looking in the development right now. And, and so when one pops up, they're supposed to call you? Right. And one hasn't popped up in a year. Yeah. Um, there has been the high rise. It's not a high rise. I think it's like three floors. Okay. It's underground parking. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, this begs the question: What if what if one of these units pops up and it's perfect for you? What are you going to do? Because you still have your home there on Conservancy. Well, that's true, but I don't want to move. I'll just have to wait. I don't want to move in the winter time. Okay. Okay. And is that because you just don't like to move in the cold weather? That's probably it, yeah. And I don't believe there's anybody out here looking for a place after school started. Yeah. I didn't put this place on the market, though, after school started, which was a mistake. 
Right, right. Okay. And so you just don't want to have a sign out in the yard during the wintertime because you don't want to move when it's cold. Uh, even if one of these bigger road units pops up and you, you fall in love with it. When is it going to pop up? One hasn't popped up in a year. You know why that is? Like I said, on, on, in the high or in the high rise, or that's what they call it, it's a three story building with condos in it. I don't want to be in there. Yeah. What if, let me ask you this, because I, I know your other agent probably didn't volunteer to do this, but we've done this before with some of our some of our sellers when they wanted to be in a specific neighborhood is we went and door knocked the neighborhood and then also sent out a mailer asking if anyone wanted to sell. Uh, we've actually done that on probably half a dozen occasions. Uh, would that be something you'd be interested in? It, 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 would that be a way we could earn your business? I'm not going to move in the winter and I have a, you know, uh, Marianne told me that I would probably get a thousand calls. I didn't expect one at quarter to eight in the morning. Yeah. I like to be first, right? I like to catch people before they go into work. I like to catch people sleep and wake them up. No, I know. I don't like doing that, but I like to catch them before they go into work. I don't work. I'm retired. Oh, okay. Well, I understand that and didn't, and didn't want to wake you up at all, um, but am very interested in, in helping you get the home sold and then finding you one in Centerville. I mean, if I felt in my heart of hearts that I, I knew I could help you do that, um, it's, it's my duty, I feel like, to call you because I've done that for so many other sellers across Southwest Ohio. So I felt obligated to call you this morning. Three bedroom, two bath, in the in the condo, uh, uh, one story range condo. Got it. Right around one hundred eighteen thousand dollars, one hundred and twenty. Okay. No more than that, because my brother only paid one hundred eighteen for his. Oh, okay. All right. In that complex, that's what I want. So I th I think you hear I think I hear you telling me that. Um, you want me to, to go out and find you a deal in that condo development. Is that what I'm hearing? I can't buy another place till I sell this one. Okay. If a place become available, I could not get it until this one was sold because I'm paying cash for the other one. Yeah. What, let me ask you this. Um, cause I, 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 you, you sound like a, a pretty intelligent woman. What if we, I mean, if we could hire movers, let, let's say we found the perfect condo and we could hire mo movers and, and keep you out of the cold to move your stuff over, and the only thing you had to do was unpack inside where it was 72 degrees and warm, and we could work out a perfect scenario where we found you one and, and got yours sold, how would you feel about that? I would do it. Okay. But I just don't believe it possible to be done right now because I'll tell you most of the people that live in those condos are old yeah and to get them to pack and move out in the winter time I'm already packed yeah Mary Ann had me pack down my house so it would show better yeah well, I, I, I believe that you're right. If you just wait for something to come on the market, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. But think about this. Think about this, Patricia. There are people in that development right now that are probably thinking about selling their property, but they don't know you want to buy it, right? So they're thinking, I'm not going to put it on the market right now because nobody's going to buy it in the wintertime. And the reality of it is, what we know as realtors is that's a myth, right? I mean, there, in December in, in Centerville last year, there were over, over 220 properties that sold just in the month of December. And so if I can communicate to one of those people living in that development that you want to be in, that maybe I have an interested buyer uh, without disclosing any of your information, and they are interested, I want to be able to communicate that to you because you, we may be able to get into a situation where we find you the perfect condo and we don't have any competition. Wouldn't that be great? That would be great, but that still doesn't get mine sold so I can buy the other one. No. I, I'm retired. I'm on a fixed income. I can't own two properties and make payments on. Yeah, no, you don't want to get into a situation where you're making double payments for sure. 
let's do this, okay? Um, you know, I obviously I can hear it in your voice that you, you want this condo and you want to get your sold and you don't want to put yourself in a difficult position. Why don't we do this? Why don't we why don't we just get together for 15 or 20 minutes? Let me take a look at the house, what you've got down there. Because I've see I see what you've got online here, but I've never seen the home in person. And let's just have a talk for a minute and see if it maybe makes sense to to try to take the next step on this. Well, I know it makes sense for me. The condo's brand new. Yeah. So when is a good time for me to stop down and visit with you for a minute? Are you going to be available? On a rainy day. Yeah, you, you may not. If today's not good, I've got some openings tomorrow and Friday, but you'd have to let me know what works best for your schedule because I definitely don't want to put you out. It would have to be tomorrow because I'm going to work today. Okay, I think I that'll do I fine. Do, I don't work, but I do drive for Uber. Oh, you do? That's so neat. I bet you've got some great stories to share. Uh, all right. Well, I, I tell you what. I, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to put you out too much. So, what if I stop down around eleven thirty tomorrow just to visit with you for a minute and, and see the house? Is eleven thirty okay? That's fine. All right, Miss Patricia. Well, my name is Mike Wall, and I'll I'll stop down around eleven thirty tomorrow to see you. Okay, and we'll chat for a minute. Okay. All right. Bye bye. That was pretty sweet. Yeah. It was pretty freaking sweet. But that took a long time. Patricia Ann Morris. Bye bye, love you. If you are satisfied with your message, Ooh, if you want to message, press two <laughs> to erase and re record. Press three to continue message erase. At the tone, please re record your message. At the end of your message, press one. Hi, Doug. This is Mike Wall. Hey, I have some questions about a home I found online at 1749 Cottontail Drive. I believe you're the owner. Uh, I didn't know if that was for sale or um, if, if the home had potentially already been sold. Give me a call back. My direct line is 513-299-8999, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. The number you dialed has been changed, disconnected, or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording an error, please check the number and try your call again. Announcement to switch five eight dash. The number or code you have dialed is incorrect. Please check the number or code and try again.
Dana? Hello? Dana? Uh, is this Tim? Uh, this is Mike. I was calling about the home for sale at 372 Buena Vista. Did I dial the right number? You're calling Buffalo, New York. Oh, my goodness. So this is uh, not... It's my, it's my daughter-in-law. Oh, your daughter-in-law's Dana. Right. How did you get this number? Yeah, I'm just looking online here, and, and this was the number associated with the property. That's odd. Maybe they put you down as a uh, emergency contact or something. Right. Um, did you want their number? Yeah, please. I do have some questions about the home they're trying to sell in South Lebanon here. Right. Okay. It's uh, 513. Okay. 480. Okay. 4507. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Tim, hi, this is Mike Wall. Um, hey, I'm trying to get some information about the home for sale at 372 Buena Vista Drive here in South Lebanon. Uh, if you would, when you get a chance, uh, give me a call back. I'm at 513-299-8999, and I look forward to your call. Thank you. Hi there, I was calling about the home for sale on Cooper Road in Montgomery. That's not our property. I don't know who that belongs to, but that's not us. We keep getting oh, it sounds like you've gotten a lot of calls on it. Hi. Yeah, that, somebody's put your number down for that. Maybe they just made a mistake. All right. Hey, so sorry to bother you this morning. That's okay. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's all she wrote for today, folks. One good appointment, though, for $250,000. i will take it any day.